All right, let's get this thing torn down. I've made sure to place it on the rickety table I've got, which always is helpful. And since I don't have sockets that fit the star pattern nuts there, um, I'm just going to hammer on a metric socket, and we'll see if we can get it to come apart. And that would be one ruined six millimeter Chinatown socket. And we're going to have to rethink this. Once again proving nothing's too absurd for YouTube, I went ahead and <laughs> hammered nuts on and welded them together. So now we can go ahead and unscrew all those. Now I don't work on these, but I can tell you what I expect to find in there is some sort of rotary piston, a lot like a hydraulic pump. That's what I expect to see inside. That is not what I got, however. Is that, is it inside greasy? Yeah, it's pretty greasy. Did that get greasy? Did that get greasy? Yes, it did. I don't want you touching these, okay? You want a pound, you'll have to go upstairs. Let's take this off, which I think is the suction pickup, has to be pickup on the bottom. It's not, it's got almost like a See, that's why I use wobbly tables. What fun would this be if there wasn't fear of it falling on your feet? There's the other side and its diaphragm. You need to go poop? Well, a man who's got to poop is a man who can't work, so you might as well go inside. Let's, let's get that taken care of, huh? I'm not sure how much of this is supposed to come apart and how much of it is jammed, because remember this whole unit is melted solid. Let's go poop, bud. Okay. I'd say that's the compression ring, though I don't work on these now. That's not hardened steel. There must be some sort of gasket. There's the compression ring. So how do they keep it from blowing out on those two slots? Fascinating. She's got some uh, some mileage on her. It's like a truck stop hooker. It's been around the lot. No matter where I look it over, there's simply no way into this unit to come over here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart up here. Then we'll get the BFH and see if we can persuade the two cases to come apart despite the fact that the uh, windings have welded themselves to uh, the rotor and stator, rotor or stator. The outer twisty bits have welded themselves to the inner twirly bits. And that looks like a pretty useful bolt. I see myself storing that for 30 years and throwing it away shortly before I find a use for it. What's this thing go all the way to China? Oh. Tell you the senior that put it together did a good job. Now I'm hoping that with a little gentle persuasion, 
I can get these two to separate. Look at that, it worked. And that is a massive hunk of copper. Can't remember who it was. Someone on the internet said that they uh, routinely got quite a few pounds of copper out of these things. And I thought they might have been being a little silly, but. I think they're probably right. I might drag out the sawzall and see if I can slice this right through here. See if I can salvage some of that. But first is this thing, which is absolutely lock solid. And unfortunately for us, I've got three, four more of those bolts I can't undo down in there. And obviously I can't undo them, hence my welding last time, and there's not enough room to get a wrench in there. So we're going to have to make some minor case modifications in order to fit. But it shouldn't be anything that a competent mechanic couldn't, couldn't undo. So I, I, I think that we can put this back. Look how clean those those brakes are. When it comes time to put this back together, you'll just put a little bit of super glue right around here. It'll work perfect. Ready? Huh? An almost done with your prize. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Well. Daddy's got a problem in that he can't get to these bolts. So he's making small windows so that he can see those bolts better. You think that's a good idea? That's pretty good, bud. Now I gotta get another one to show you too.